I would like to think that my neighbors didn't always hate me before this. Ever since I got the new motor, I'm being extremely cautious with letting the car warm up completely and letting the car kind of run a little bit before I actually start driving it. I'm a new built motor owner, so I'm I'm just doing what everyone else tells me. And also, I'm still driving the car like a little bitch, and it sucks. But I'm driving, like, I'm taking every excuse I can to drive. So we have to put 3,000 miles on the car before we're technically done. Right now, we have put... 621.3 miles, and I've done that in like three days. Every morning I go to the gym at like 8.30 in the morning and I go through this mad traffic on this road and every morning I look at people through the window and they're all like dressed up to go to work. This is like the, a big road people take to go to work. And I always look at people and they have the worst looks on their face and they look fucking miserable. And it reminds me every day to, when you are young, be sure you set yourself up to do something that you love when you're older. Don't do something just because it's the norm. Chase your fucking dream and go for it. As every day I look at these people and I, they look fucking miserable. And it's a constant reminder. If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. You gotta do what you love. You gotta chase your dream. Because if you don't, you're gonna be miserable later in life. I promise you. Take it from all these people on the fucking road. They just look so upset. It, I don't know. Early morning at the gym, gonna get a good bust. I'm fucking ready. Let's go. Good morning. Let's get the blood going early. So before you comment about it, yes, I'm using my old camera. Yes, there is a dead pixel in this camera. I'm sorry, but this Sony one that we bought like maybe a couple months ago that was a really nice expensive, the really, really nice camera, breaking, and also my mic just broke so the audio may be a little shitty until we get a new mic later today. Tomorrow I'll leave for Maryland H2O, and right now we gotta go look at some secret business. So I'm just saying I apologize for this bunk right here, I know it's bunk, we fixing it, don't worry. I got you guys. <laughs> something that I've been kind of keeping a, not a secret, but I've been holding it off, at least on the YouTube videos of everything, but I'm looking for something today that has been an idea for a long time and a very long, it's a very long process. We're looking today. I've been looking for about a month and a half now. None of them have exactly been what I'm looking for. We're taking another step in the right direction. So yeah, this, this is like a 20. I want to be able to use like this opening right here. Yeah. To like, like right here it could be... It is so hot. Shut the fuck up, Miley. I couldn't legally show you much. I wasn't supposed to bring my cameras in there, but you know I gotta do a little for my bros. Yeah, I've been looking at this stuff for about a month and a half. I haven't put anything on... on here for you guys to see if you follow me on Twitter and smaller stuff like that. You've heard hints about it here and there. I always say it's all about, you know, taking the next step, doing the next big thing. And uh, I think this is the next big thing. It's really exciting. I don't want to overhype it yet. It's been a long process. It's more difficult than you think it is to, to get a space like this. It's a very, very long road, very long process, but we're about halfway through it. I don't want to overexcite any of you guys, but I'm excited as hell. Everybody knows, like Calvin, all of them, and Kevin have all been helping during this, and they all know about it, but I haven't really showed you guys yet. I don't know. Big things, boys, big things. All right, back at the camera store. I need to get this stupid camera looked at. I think that if you'd spend, like, a lot of money on a really nice camera, it wouldn't break. And also, we're gonna get a new mic for bros. This weekend, you're gonna want a mic. Now I want you guys to have a mic, a good audio mic, so back to the camera store. So apparently I was an idiot and I had the settings all screwed up. 
but now we're going to look at, now that I'm here, we've got the camera all fixed, I'm going to look at some different lens options, because I'm kind of getting bored of this lens, and I think I could get a more, like, artsy shot without this lens. Change it up a little bit. We'll see. Oh, uh, this is a 70D. I do oh, like okay. daily vlogging on YouTube. Like vlogging you, uh -huh. you watch YouTube? Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. yeah. So once I started doing this, everyone loved the quality of the A7. Yeah. Here's that. Here is a test on the new lens right here. So it's a little more cropped, but now I have the ability to zoom in on my face. It's a bigger setup. Yeah, I like it. Just like that, we walk in just to get this camera looked at. I'm an idiot, it wasn't broken at all. It was actually working the whole entire time. Then I get curious, I start looking at other lenses. I find this lens, I think I like it. I end up buying it and then I need a new mic. The new mic's in the bag, but it doesn't come with batteries, of course. So right now we're micless, so the audio still might be absolute shit. I apologize, we're gonna go home, get a new battery. So when I use this Canon camera, it's a lot easier to use and the shot usually looks a little bit cleaner sometimes and it's less overexposed. When I use this new camera, it's like super advancey and stuff, and a lot of times I have the shot wrong because I'm using I'm using like the movie mode, and when I use the movie mode, it auto exposes a lot. So I'm gonna try to start using full manual mode, which sometimes well sometimes it's good, sometimes it isn't. But I'm gonna try to start using the manual mode a little more, and we'll see if I can get any better shots. But I'm pretty pumped on this new lens. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Donald, how can I help you? Hi, could I have you a quarter pounder with Ah, oh, shit. I'm going for a different microphone style now. I used to get like shotgun ones. This is more of like an app, app sphere. This is more of a, this is more of an all around mic. If it doesn't make any noise, and that means we did it. New microphone. I get excited about this. I like, kind of get hyped on getting a new setup. So I was getting kind of bored with my old one. I was getting annoyed with the shot. But I think that this uh, this will spice it up. Give me a little more inspiration. I noticed that I would turn to my head like this and the audio would be less. And I got annoyed of that. I wanted the audio to be more similar. So this mic should be able to pick up more noise around us rather than just me talking. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. I might switch back. We'll find out. We are actually going to take a little road trip in the BRZ. I'm using any excuse I can to go get miles on this car because I want to hit that 3,000 mile mark. Tyler was free, I was free, and I was like, dude, we should go to the Julian Pie Company. So it's this place, it's like maybe an hour away, but it's through beautiful roads, beautiful scenery, and then when you get to the end, there's like this awesome like pie in the middle of the mountains, in the wilderness. So I was like, Tyler, let's go. So that's what we're headed to. The camera's been acting up all day. Like I just brought them to the camera store with me. And I literally, like we went there. It started raining on the way up here, like just little sprinkles, and it's, you can't tell, but it looks cold out, but it's like 90, now it's yeah. 80, but back at home it was like 90 degrees. Yeah, I told my mom I'd get her a pie, so, gotta get her a pie. Caramel apple dutch, that's the move. Today has been a very long day, but but we got a lot accomplished today. I am really excited to get used to this camera setup. I'm I'm hyped on it, which is good. It's a good feeling to feel 
to feel excitement to pick up the camera. But sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it gets kind of boring, the setup, and it, it's fun to use something new. It gets me excited, so I'm pumped about that. I'm currently going to get started to pack for Maryland, Baltimore, I think that's where I'm going. H2O, I'm going this weekend. So when you guys are watching this, I'm literally on the plane right now flying out to go to H2O this weekend. So that's where I'll be. I don't know of any of the places down there, so I can't tell you where I'm going to be. But if, you follow, if, but if you follow my Snapchat, that's your best bet. That's how you're going to find me. Anyway, you guys, Calvin is calling me. What do you want, hoser? I will see you guys in H2O this weekend. You're going to get videos on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Daily vlogs I'm up there. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. And keep moving forward. Just finished editing the video. Of course, we got no more bloopers. I'm getting so good, I don't have bloopers in the vlogs. But I do want to say this. One, I've been talking about daily vlogging and doing more just vlogging style videos. Less car stuff, more vlogging. I feel like today was kind of that. I feel like there's nothing too car related. A car was in it, but like there's nothing car related. That makes me happy. I want to kind of go more towards like vlogging, and I feel like this video kind of did that. And when I finished editing it, I feel like I kind of had my artistic view on how I wanted to shoot it. And with the new camera, the new setup, like it made me feel good. Like today, this video, I don't know how you guys liked it, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I, I had I had a good time making it. it. Makes me feel so happy. I'm really feeling inspired for this weekend to shoot with the new camera. So I'm pumped as hell. But I do want to say this. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below, this was dope, if you made it this far. So I know. I'll see you guys in the comment section. Bye.